Hello, I'm Karen Ridges from Veggie Vision TV and today I'm going to be sharing a healthy eating tip with you. I'm going to show you how to freeze a butternut squash. Now butternut squashes are gorgeous. You can have them roasted in soups, lightly steamed, a really tasty vegetable bursting with vitamins A and C, packed with beta carotene. Um, they are a bit tricky to handle, so I find that the best way is to simply cut them into thirds. Then they're easy to peel because you can actually stand them on your chopping board. So that's what we're going to start off with now. So the best way forward is to get your butternut squash and cut it into three pieces because then you can put it on top of your chopping board and hold it quite steady. You might like to peel it with a peeler or you may find it easier to try um, with a very sharp knife. So we're just going to peel all pieces of our butternut squash now and just peel it. Be very careful because it is a bit of a tricky job but it really is worthwhile. So you can chop the, the pieces into good chunks, chunk size, or you can chop them slightly smaller as well. And this is good if you are going to um, use the butternut squash after you've frozen it for a soup or even a puree because um, even babies and small kids absolutely love butternut squash. Now you can try and freeze your butternut squash without blanching. However, we feel that it is a very good idea to just cook for about five minutes or so, steam or um, boil. Now with this part of the squash, the seeds do come out very easily. You just scoop around and then pop them out and they, they just come out so easily. You can easily get all of the seeds out. And again, cut this into small pieces. So it doesn't take long to steam or to lightly boil. Oops. Okay, that's plenty enough. So what we're gonna do now is pop it into a pan of boiling water for just five minutes. Well, our butternut squash has been blanching now for just five minutes. You can cook it for slightly longer if you need to, or if you'd like to. I think that really is enough. As I say, you can steam butternut squash as well before freezing it. And what we need to do now is pop it into some ice water. You can see this has really brought out the colour of the butternut squash. You can just run this under um, cold water, but I, I do feel it works better to, to get it cool very quickly and in iced water. We're just gonna leave the butternut squash in the iced water now for five minutes, just so it cools very quickly. The butternut squash has been cooling now for about five minutes. So we're going to take it very carefully out of the iced water. I find using a big ladling spoon is ideal. And just make sure you drip the water out. I think it does help to use one, a measuring jug and pop the bag in it. It just makes things a lot more sturdy. Pick out the bits of ice. And once frozen, it will last for really many, many months. So it's a really handy thing. Although, of course, butternut squashes and other squashes, they do last a long time. You can just leave, leave them on your um, side 
the side of your kitchen. They do um, last for, for many months anyway. And here we go. Got a lovely bag, gorgeous colour, really a really tasty vegetable. Very versatile. Make sure you get all of the air out of the bag. Roll it up very nicely. Might have a bit more air in there. And pop in the freezer. That's ready now to be steamed later or to be baked in the oven with some olive oil or to be popped into a really nice soup. But now we're going to get it into the freezer. So that is how you can freeze butternut squash.